Hey guys, Greg Christensen here at Grandview Livestock. Uh, Travis and I are gonna run these down the road about a mile and put them back in another pasture there. What well, you've seen us do that before. We've got some Milo stocks. We're gonna see how that goes. We're gonna graze them on some some Milo stocks there. We cut the Milo there last fall, and uh, so we'll got a two wire poly wire fence around it they'll probably try it a couple times and maybe get out before they get used to it but uh, they've been around electric fence they've been around poly wire and so uh, we'll see how it goes I don't know how much video I can take because uh, we're a little short-handed today Quinn's off skiing still and uh, Travis's wife's gonna lead him with the uh, to pick up with a bale of hay and maybe shake a feed bucket at them. So we'll see what happens. You can probably see there's still a lot of standing dry grass here, and there's even a little bit of green if you look down in there. Um, but uh, we've got some other places we're going to let this grow up we'll probably lamb some out here uh, come spring so right now we've got plenty of forage without even having to feed any hay I, I doubt if we're going to have to feed any hay this, this winter at all to any of our our sheep or at least not this group. There's about, I don't remember now, over 500 in here. There's a bunch of last year's ewe lambs in here. So I took a few minutes here. I'm getting the dogs reacquainted here. Autumn with the Last Dark Guardian dogs. They've been around her before, but uh, just don't want to take any chance. Want everybody to get along here. Stay. So good. Yeah. Easy. Bottom. Bottom. Now 
Now look what they got in here, boys. Yum, yum, yum. That's what they like. You're not gonna like that Milo stalks probably. There might be a little Milo out there on the ground. They'll probably want to come back in here quite a little bit. Well, that just went too easy, guys. It wasn't even hardly fun. Yeah, these girls are getting the program figured out, and there's no lambs on them, and uh, just makes it a little too easy. They were anxious to leave where they were, although there's still a lot there they could eat. They didn't like it. wasn't very palatable. They like this green stuff here quite a little bit better, and I'll uh, I'll probably take a cutting, and send this off just to see. I've sampled this before, and it'll run between, oh, I don't know, I'm going to say 12 to 15% protein uh, this time of year, and it's been dry, that helps too, if, it, if we'd had a lot of rain, it deteriorates a little more, um, so we're going to keep them on this little trap here for a little bit, and then we'll move them over where they can go out the gate onto that milo stubble that you can kind of see it off there in the distance uh, and we've got a gate where they can go in and out and drink at the pond there and it's supposed to be warmer man i have to break any ice for them for a while Well, here's the Milo stalks. You can see, we flew on about, I don't remember now, 40 pounds maybe, a cereal ride. You can see it down in there. They'll find it. And there's some Milo, a few Milo heads on the ground, not a lot. I don't know how they're gonna like this. And if that two wire will hold them in, yeah, I'm sure they'll get out a time or two. But uh, usually then they get used to it. Figure out where it's at. So a little tip about uh, using poly wire with sheep. And uh, you want to put your posts closer than you would with cattle. You know what I mean? See, it's going to hold that poly more rigid. And you want to pull it pretty tight. Tighter than you would probably need to with cattle. And so it'll get under their hide, you know, when they try to go under it. Um, it's more rigid. It's more... It'll, it'll get in into their, under their hide, under that thick hair. And uh, so you want these posts closer together. Quinn and Travis did a good job here. And they're, they're pretty close. I don't know, I'd say. Looks like about eight steps apart. Oh, 20, 25 feet there. Yeah, it seemed like it's just the other day. We was in here combining this Milo. Now it won't be long being here planting soybeans. So, well, I think we'll let the sheep find this for themselves. They'll be more apt to want to stay out here. They'll think they've gotten away, see? So we'll see how that goes. Hey, 
nice day here at Grandview Livestock. Hope you all have a nice day as this.